Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you didn't break your wind your um <laughs> He did crack it. Did he? Did he? He shattered it. Wow. Oh no. Dude, you gotta be you gotta be nicer. Go. <laughs> you did that. You did that. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. What was that for? <laughs> what was I don't even know you. I just I I can't believe you just threw that at me. No, it was just it was just like very aggressive. It was just like like very aggressive. <laughs> I can't believe that you Oh <laughs> No, it just felt, it just felt very, like, unnecessary. Like, you could have just, like, tapped my shoulder. I j Oh, you're gonna do it again? You're gonna do it again? Oh, oh okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. Oh, you wanna fight. Okay. <laughs> we can do that. Alright, see you later, man. Wait! Are you gonna take the dog out? Why well, you don't want us to go out? Look at him. Yeah, you're right. Men only want one thing in this world. It's not money, it's not power, it's not love. It's a cool jacket. It's a jacket that goes down to their knees and they're wearing it through a cityscape. It's nighttime. Neon signs are everywhere, synth music is playing. And they're making their way through a crowd trying to meet a contact. It's not hard. This is my impression of a man discovering that his wife is cheating on him with Batman. But not just Batman, it's the 1960s version of Batman. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Can you say the line? You like jazz. <laughs> James, you want to hang out? He is not welcome, my lord. How dare you talk to the king on his day of rest? You must stay inside and play 2K. He is sick. He wants to take your power. He wants to take the throne. There is a new Fortnite season, and the Doctor Doom skin is yours for the taking. He's trying to distract you. Don't listen to him. Dude, I just want to, like, hang out. Silence your voice! It's Tuesday! There are no bitches out! I do you lay these troubles on your homie. Can't you see he's worked three days this week? Not trust a commoner. No dogs on the beach. Sheep. Which traffic flows in one direction around a central island. So how exactly do you navigate a roundabout? Many inexperienced drivers are intimidated by their unique layout. However, in this video, we will show you exactly how to navigate through them, and you'll find that they are actually not complicated at all. Let's start by making remain inside the roundabout until the third exit. An excellent first performance. But there was one thing you missed. Did you see the problem? Of course. For the entire duration was a single seat twin engine super maneuverable Sukhoi Su-35 flanker E air defense fighter observing you this whole time. I just got fired from Olive Garden. Apparently I was sounding too sexual. That's dumb. What do they mean by too sexual? They didn't like the way that I said, Tell me when to stop! When someone points two guns at you, first thing you want to do is move into a safety zone. That's right here. It is going to be very loud when he's firing. So, taking your fingers, putting them in your ears like this, so you don't damage your hearing as he fires. He eventually figures this out. He begins to point the guns at my head as I move down. The bullets hit each other at the exact same time. I catch them. I put them in his pants, right? 
So as he fires, hot lead put it in his pants, hot lead put it in his pants, hot lead put it in his pants. He continues to point the weapons at me. I move down here. I redirect into the groin. He fires. I reach up, take the guns, present them to everyone around, knowing I have control of the weapons. He falls down. And then whatever's left of it, what do we always do? Restomp the groin. <laughs> all right, gun to my head. What's my favorite movie of all time? Easy. Isolate the weapon, grab, twist, disarm, subdue your attacker, get them on the ground, knock them out with a kick, secure the area. Now that you're safe, you can let them know it's Forrest Gump. But I do not have the balls for polygamy, both physically or mentally. I do not give a shit. Nobody has time. This is my impression of if R2-D2 were to walk in on his parents. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! A lot of you don't look good with the slick back bun, especially my white blonde. Speak for yourself, you filthy mudblood. Honestly, wait till my father hears of this. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. I, I, I can't feel my legs. Just like in X-Men First Class. That was such a good scene. <laughs> that was such a good scene. Do you remember it? Anyone? No? Okay, never mind. We put a man on the moon over 50 years ago. 50 years ago. Why did we stop? We could have had them all up there by now. Ah, traveler, finally you've come. I've been waiting for You're you. You're all right, mate. To set you on your mission, I give you this, a copper sword. Oh, that's nice of you. I've actually already got this one, though. How the fuck have you got the Sword of a Thousand Souls? Yeah, I have, uh, have done a few side quests. Side quests, is it? Before coming to meet you. Okay, sure. Well, you'll be ready then for your first mission. Take on this beast, but be careful. Their bite is vicious. <laughs> right. Someone's been a busy wizard, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. Right, that's fucking mental. Sorry. Did, did uh, grind the magic to level 100? Did you now? I did. But this is the first mission. You should have come here first. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Right. Okay, well, you haven't got this yet. The Crystal Elimination. Yeah, I have got 50. Really? So you can hang on to that. Okay. Every adventurer needs a horse. Take my steed. I have actually been riding a dragon. Fuck. Well, I'm sure you haven't met Beadle. Meet him for the first time. Yeah, we go way back. Really? Yeah, I bought him his third house, I think. No shit. Yeah. Look upon the skyline. A whole world awaits you. I've unlocked the whole map. Have you really? I have indeed. If you sustain damage in battle, drink a healing potion. Sell. What? Sell, sell, sell. No, 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 no. Sell. No. Give the carrot truth. Oh, I've got 3,000 of those. For sake. Right, so you've done everything. Uh, let's just do the final boss then. Go on. Is this even fun for you? I'm just here for the trophies. Right. Nothing better than getting home from work and cracking open a nice cold. I really love drinking. My favorite beer is an ice cold. Reasons my wife and I are gonna fight on vacation. Number one, who pays for everything? Even though we've had a joint bank account for the entire nine years of our marriage, she still insists I pay for everything. With our money. Sometimes she doesn't even bring a wallet. What do you keep in your purse? More attitude? Number two, picking a place to eat. Dominique once said, and I quote, if you couldn't find any melanin, what makes you think you can find a decent restaurant? When I responded, I did find some melanin. She said, that felt racial. And number three, showing this specific picture of me in a tight black bathing suit. Do not show that picture. Coulter, some stuff is just for me. Would you rather? Look me directly in the eyes and say, I hate Asians. <laughs> or, I hate the gays. 
And, th and this is something people voted on. Yep. I. That I, I contact. I think I can. You know. Justify the second one better. About <laughs> I need to hear you say. It. We need to hear you say it, Keith. I. I hate the gays. <laughs> Honestly, spoken like someone who might hate the gays. <laughs> The gays made me do this. <laughs> the gays made me do that. The gays made me do a lot of beer. And I'll never look as good as them. All the things in the world that I thought Al Pacino would have on his phone cover, I was not expecting Shrek. <laughs> Who would be expecting Shrek? Who? That's mine. Can you explain why you Shrek it? My youngest daughter said, can I have your phone, Dad? I've just got to... So I gave her my phone. And she came back, and she had this on it. She said, it's Shrek, Dad. I said, Shrek? Wow. OK, babe, I'll hold on to it. Hey, how's your drink? Absolutely fantastic. Compliments to the bartender. You are the most handsome guy here. Please don't bite me. Just know you're gonna bite me. You're too pretty. <laughs>